hello guys in this video let's discuss product and subscription so product is a logical group of apis so our api consumers they can subscribe to a product so for example a product can contain stocks api and historical share market reports api so you can see a product has two apis over here now let's say we have a product created then we can give permission to a user or to a group of users to access this product. So basically here we provided the required subscription to this user or to this group to access the APIs from this product. So now our API consumer or external user, he can log in in developer portal. He can find the APIs from within the product and he can test APIs. And now let's see it practically. So guys, we are in our API and then we are under APIs and as of now we have three APIs that is Eco API, Historical Data API and then Stocks API. And now let's create two products. So let's say the first product is basic product which provide access to only one API that is Stocks API. And let's say another product it is advanced product and it provides access to both these APIs that is Stocks API and Historical Stocks Data API. Okay, so here can you see these products? So let's click on products. We'll say add. Let's give name to our product. So we'll say product stocks info basic. Let's give same description. Published. So I will say yes. Subscription count limit. So it means how many max number of subscriptions we can create for this product. Okay, so I will say 500. And guys, you see it is our basic product. So it will have an access to only one API. So here under APIs, let's add that one API. And, li and let's select this stocks API. I'll say create. And now let's create another product that is advanced product. And here I will say product stocks info advanced. Yes, published subscription count limit. I will say 500 and here APIs. We should select both the APIs. I will select stocks API and then I will select this historical stocks data API as well. And I will say create. So guys, we have created two products. Great. Now guys on the left hand side let's go down and let's see how many external users or how many API consumers we have. So let's click on this users. First of all admin is this email that is net on whiteboard right. So of course I mean this admin is by default present as a user. But we added this external user as well that is I added my personal email id as an external user. So for this you can simply open the developer portal that is uh, I will open a new tab. So we are under overview and guys can you see this developer portal URL so you can open this URL and you can sign up as an external user right. And so we can see this as an external user over here. But as of now if I try to log in as as this external user in my developer portal. So guys, I have already logged in and if I say refresh, see as of now I have an access to this default API only, but I don't have an access to stocks or that historical data API, right? And now let's say to this external user, we want to provide an access to only stocks API and not to that historical data API, right? So that means we will provide an access. to this basic product only and guys if you remember under that we have added only stocks api right so let's do it so let's again go down let's go users let's open this user under that let's go to subscriptions i will say add subscription 
सो बेसिकली वी आर असाइनिंग अ न्यू सब्सक्रिप्शन टू दिस यूजर ओके सो विल से हर्षल एक्सटर्नल यूजर बेसिक सब्सक्रिप्शन आई विल गिव सेम नेम एंड गाइज दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ अंडर स्को वी शुड सिलेक्ट दिस दैट इज प्रोडक्ट एंड फ्रॉम प्रोडक्ट वी शुड सिलेक्ट दिस बेसिक प्रोडक्ट एंड अगेन बिहाइंड द सीन दिस बेसिक प्रोडक्ट इट प्रोवाइड्स एन एक्सेस टू स्टॉक्स ए पी आई एंड यर आई विल से क्रिएट यस सो द सब्सक्रिप्शन इज क्रिएटेड एंड दिस इज प्राइमरी की एंड दिस इज द सेकेंडरी की राइट एंड हियर इफ आई से शो और हाइट कीज एंड दीज आर द सब्सक्रिप्शन कीज विच आर रिक्वायर टू कंज्यूम द ए पी आईज फ्रॉम दिस प्रोडक्ट राइट सो Again, we are back in our incognito mode, and again we are logged in with Harshal external user. And here now, I will simply say refresh. And yes, we have an access to stocks API. So it's because if I click on products, see, I have got an access to this basic product. Okay. Now let's actually test the API. So I'll go to APIs. and now let's actually test this api so let's click on this stocks api here i will say try it and guys observe this subscription key so it is using this primary subscription key okay and let's go down again subscription key so if i say show see this subscription it is 914f0 right and see it is the same subscription key that is 914 now let's go down and here now i will say send and see it says 200 okay and you have received the response as well and the response is this is stocks summary so you have successfully consumed this stock api from within developer portal so basically that's it guys so basically we can use product to logically group our apis so ideally api they should be grouped in product and we should not provide an access to individual user to this product rather we should create a group of user and we should provide an access to this group to this product okay so that should be the best practice so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening